um, streaming schedule, um, it's changing um, pretty soon. But as of right now, um, it's uh, Monday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, and the same time on Friday, 8.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Central Standard Time. There you go. There um, you go. Also, Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, Wow, so you got three to four days a week, yeah. yeah. So, you know what, while, while these ads are running, I mean, if you're starting out streaming, I don't, I, maybe we won't open this up just yet, but I'm a two-day-a-week guy. I do Tuesdays, Thursdays. That's all I can manage. We're both family guys. You know what that's like to have those commitments. Um, but for somebody that's that's starting out streaming, I've I've poked fun at this on my Twitter. Don't don't do 160 hours a week, please. Um, as Fendler would say, say less. Like, we, get get a couple of streams in a week. Start to work more um, offline at building that following. Uh, yes. Your your thoughts, D? Absolutely. That's a good way to burn yourself out. It's a really good way to burn yourself out. We, we've um, talked burnout on this stream. Go ahead. Um, you know, if I may add, if I can break this up into a pie chart. There you as go. As far as percentages, as far as how much time you yeah. should be investing into this whole thing. Um, I would have to say 30% on social media platforms, of course, creating content. Uh, remember, we have to have visible content in order to be seen. Mm -hmm. I would say another 30% would go to supporting other people, which is very, very, very important. Okay. Supporting each other. That's why we're here. None of us can do this by ourselves. Um, definitely not the easiest thing to do, but yeah, it, it, it just comes with the territory. And I would give another 30% to um, enhancing our content. You so know, 30. On your... So a 30 year time on socials and a 30 year time enhancing. You haven't gone live yet. You got 40% of the chart left. Do I got my math right? Actually, you have 30% supporting, 30% enhancing your content, and 30% um, on social media platforms, which leaves 10% for streaming. 10%. Let me, 10%. Let me, explain, let me explain why. I have reasoning behind that. 10% streaming, all the supporting, all the networking, all of the creating of, you know, working on your, your content, it's like putting the pieces together for the final product. And our stream, when we go live, that is the final product. What yes. you see right then and there, you are live in front of everybody to show everybody what you've been working on and that's just that. And it's, I have to say 10%. So it goes to what you just said. Don't stream for hundreds and hundreds of hours. Okay. It, you, it's just a surefire way for you to fail, unfortunately. Yeah. And you burn, burn yourself out. out. You burn we yourself see this, out. I see this all the time. All the time. Streamers who stream six, eight hours a day to zero people, one person. Yeah. And they're like, you know what? This isn't for me. Yeah. Yeah, you went about it incorrectly. Well, you keep banging your head into a wall over and over again, or doing the same yeah. thing, expecting different results. That's insanity, right? Hey, cheeky Brian comes in, and this—I think this is going to touch on a little bit of I, one of the questions I had sent you before this, and I want to make sure we touch on. Talk to me about like the downfalls of support. So he writes for both of you: Have you ever had any hardships or feelings of giving up in the past about streaming? So you touched on a few, like you got to the end of your rope before you decided to, you know, before it went to a point where you wanted to. Um. I, I recently did, but I, I want to know, I want to know from you, um, you know, have you ever had a point, even in the point after that last, that point where you kind of laid your, your chips on the table, where you decided maybe you would stop? Have I ever reached the point of wanting to quit after I made that decision, after hitting affiliate, the answer to that question is no. You haven't, you haven't. Because, okay. No, I haven't because of my motives, as far as why I stream, I, I do this for fun. Thank you I don't very do much. This, I, don't, I don't do this for a career. I don't do this to replace my career. I do this to meet people, to have fun. Mm -hmm. um, I don't yeah. see myself quitting because I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun with this, Nate. I can I'm tell. Not. I mean, we all can tell. We yeah. all can tell. When you get up and try to freestyle, you know, rhyme in front of people, that's, not, <laughs> that's fun for you. It ain't fun for us, but it's fun for you. <laughs> Killing your ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I... You, when you say motive, I mean, that's it, right? It's 
when you want to give up, it's because your expectations haven't been hit. And mm -hmm. what we what we don't discover sometimes until we go live is we got expectations we never identified in ourselves.